Hello friends, and here we start trying to build our wine and glass box. Um, I've seen several of these online. I want to give at least several different flavors of it, and I want to give something like this away as a gift uh, to someone uh, this year, in particular uh, my boss. So I did, I wound up taking um, some glasses that I showed you in a previous picture, I lined them up one on top of the other, and sketched out what I would like to see. So in all my sketchings, um, this is what I kind of figured our dimensions are going to be. And I, do all my, I did all my dimensions from the inside, so the outside of the box is going to be a little, bit, a little bit bigger. By three quarters up and three quarters down, so an inch and a half all together. Um, but the idea was to keep the bottle on the right hand side and the glasses that we'll be gifting on the left hand side. Um, trying to get all my measurements together is what I did to make sure that I have a sufficient amount of material uh, to you. So I went out to Home Depot and I'll, I'll, I'll write a list of the items that we bought up in there. Uh, and I also got a few extra, so not only for uh, this project but for another. So of the extras I have uh, the glue and an extra piece of Luan that I purchased because it just made a little more sense to buy that size for future projects that uh, myself and uh, my wife at Hip and Creative does, okay? So of those things we have, I'll just show you the hardware first. Some of the hardware we're gonna wind up using, uh, this here. This will be the handle that, don't have it sketched out in the drawing, but this handle will be up in the top. Got the handle in this gold color because it matches the hinges that we're gonna wind up using. Okay, so here are our hinges. Didn't want them too big, but didn't want them too small. And something you won't see in the diagram is something that, you know, right, not right now, I'll sketch that out later so that everyone can see what I did. But in order to keep it, there's gonna be like two uh, wing doors up in the front. That's what I call it, wing doors. And of that, these things will be held closed by this uh, hook and staple. A little spin around, something simple, but I think it's gonna come out re really nice and uh, give a good presentation for a gift, all right? Because out of this here, this will be our pine. This will be our pine, our pine all on the outside, the outside, and the outside. And of my measurements, I got 14 and 3 8 interior measurements. And down here, 7 and 3 quarters, also for our interior measurement. So let's start cutting. So I want to make sure that I do this cut first of one side and then do the other. And then whatever I do for one board, I want to mimic that for another so that I can do our bottom piece. And we'll keep referring back to this. Always refer back to this. Measure twice, cut once before you end up uh, making a mistake, especially when you only have so much board to work with. Okay? So I'm going to set this up, make sure that my, um, my saw is square, my material is square, and cut our first piece. We're going to make our first cut. First cut's going to be 45 because we're making that, that square. So what I did was I marked it so that I can see... And you guys can see, yes, I'm cutting this part here. I'll be turning my uh, saw, my chop saw, miter saw, in the other direction. But right now, the 45 this way. So when I cut the other side, I'll be turning it this way. And cutting it for the other side. So one cut will be here, and one cut will be on this side here. Cut came out nice and even. Okay, my next, my next measurement after that cut is going to be 14 and 3 eighths. Two sides, cut, okay, the angle, 45 here, 45 there, same size here and there. Measure it up. If you need to trim them up, I, I cleaned it up just a little bit because it was a hair off, um, but clean them up. Now they're both exactly the same, okay? Here's our top and bottoms cut, seven and three quarters, seven and... I think it's three quarters, I mean, three quarters or three eighths. I'll go back and look over there. But here's our um, our other cut. Okay, I'm going to keep them the same. All right. Our pieces cut. So here's our here's our two pieces. Two pieces for top and bottom. And up here we have our pieces for sides. So we have the top and the bottom. Top, bottom and sides okay so let's look back at our diagram what are we supposed to do again this is rough we got our sides and size and a center but let's dry fit this before we wind up checking to see that that center needs to be cut and what it is 
Let's dry fit this to make sure that this looks like what we want it to look like. Took our pieces, turned them all around, and roughly made them look like what they're supposed to be here. So we have our rectangular shape. Okay. I had to do just a little bit of cleanups on the corners because I'm a perfectionist. I gotta see this thing looks looks okay. But the idea is that did we get the shape we want? Yes, we do. All right. Dry fitted now. We have to cut our centerpiece. piece. It's a piece of board that I had left over, the same type of material that we're using here, which is left over from a previous project. So why not use the smaller piece and keep the longer piece of what I have now done? So I'm going to measure the inside of this, which should be seven and three quarters, and cut it accordingly. And that should sit in the center. So I did that 14 measurement. Okay, dry fit it all. It's looking good. Now I'm going to put a piece of uh, Luan in the back of it. I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to put the Luan on the inside or if I'm going to put the Luan on the outside. Here's what I decided to do. Um, I decided to do a little cut within it, within the back of our material. Uh, as you can see, I took my saw blade and I went as close as I could to get it there. I will be uh, notching that off by hand and then cleaning it up so that way my Luan can go in the back. So I did it to all of these. These are all the backs of the board. I took my um, razor blade, pressed it up against the edge here. I only have one hand, so I really can't show you guys how to do this. Not yet. Oh, a tripod is the next thing in mind. Uh, so I pushed it up against here. You can hear a little crackling of the, of the board, because that's exactly where I want it to go. And then I carefully cut with the razor blade all along here as softly as I could to get, to get the desired thing. And that's how I got all of these guys done. So I needed to go ahead and cut my middle board. Okay, what, so what did I do? I said, okay, well, let's look at this here and say how big this is and how much I need my middle board to be. Well, it's the same cut as the other one I did, right? So I went ahead and did it and ran it across my table saw. Okay, dry fit. So I measured out from uh, checking out my interior dimensions from here to here, okay, from, and from here to here. This way, 15 and 3 quarters. This way, eight and three quarters. So I'll be measuring out my Luan and cutting it to those dimensions. So I measured this right now. Um, this is the width of the um, eight inch measurement that I had. I'm gonna mark the 15 inch measurement now and then go cut this one as well. Okay. Things are coming uh, coming along well. Um, as you can see, I got it trimmed. The, the inside piece is, is put in place. Everything right now is being just held on by a string. Like I said, when you don't have something, I would love to have a, a square holder, you know, strap that kind of goes around on that, and then you can tighten it up in there. Uh, and there's other um, machinery and tools that you can use to, to do that to keep it square. So what I did was string. I got some twine from uh, cement. We usually use for uh, making sure our lines are straight and so forth. Um, a little piece that I was using earlier, a piece of trash board, and the string to hold it together. That's uh, my, my hand, handy hands, handy hands, hold it. I went in the back, I have my center board, and I have all my edges. You can see they're pretty close. They're really close. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Craig uh, jig out, and I'm gonna put some pocket holes inside here to hold the top and the bottom of this together. Because those two pieces are gonna be two pieces that are holding the top and the bottom together. So they'll be holding the weight here and here, on the center and holding the weight on the top there and there in the center hole uh, for the board set it up in there I off centered it so I didn't want it to be exactly in the middle and instead of doing uh, two it's not much weight in here wine bottle and two glasses I'm only doing one pocket hole in the top and one pocket hole in the bottom so what I did is I marked it where this one goes okay so you can see where that one is now when I flip it around the other way I'll be able to put this on and have them so that way they're pretty close to exactly the same. I put my pocket hole screws in. Let me show you here. So I got my one here on one side and one here on the other. Okay. In order to get the um, in order to get the uh, drill inside there, I took off the one piece. Made sure I marked it where I wanted it to go. I need three and a half inches on each side. So I picked one side, measured three and a half, kept the same thing over there, made sure it was square. Mark that one, mark this one here, and put the um, pocket hole screws in very carefully. Don't want to screw it, screw it in too tight and, and go too far in. 
Again, this is going to be this is going to be reinforced with some glue and reinforced with the nails, finished nails on each side, and uh, as well from the back, so it should hold uh, nice and sturdy. Okay, go uh, again using the table saw as my table. Uh, I marked off our our uh, measurement for our doors. We're going to cut this into two pieces. First, use the circular saw to cut it down. Again, my my Ryobi cordless. We're going to do that and, and and rip that straight across there. A little too wide for the table for the miter saw to cut okay I measured that based on the width of everything here okay so based on its width that's where we're gonna go and again we're gonna have two doors so I'm gonna cut cut the height of it right now right and after that then we're gonna cut it in half so that we can have one door here and one door on the other side be right back cut my board down then I ran it through the table saw to get my two halves and as you can see I now have the two halves I have the one half here I still have to square out the thing because again it's just being held on right now um, so I have the one half door and the other half door and you can tell adjust them just a little bit here that they meet right in the middle again it's not squared off yet so I do have to do a little bit of adjustment to again it's just dry fit nothing's really put together I took off the tops, because uh, or the front doors, um, marked them off so I know which one goes in the left, which one goes right. But now to put the glass inside there, I want the glass to be separated by a small piece of Luan. I wanted to inset the Luan, so I marked about halfway here and halfway that way. I was able to add that middle divider piece inside there. Uh, what I did was it has to be kind of equidistant from the top and the bottom, and the fact that it's optional, be able to slide in and out. Somebody wants a larger thing, put in two wine bottles in here instead of instead of glasses. So I uh, cut it nice and thin, but also thick enough for it to move. And if you put the glass in there, because of the way the glass will get fit flat, there's a little bit of give for the glass either way on here and also on the bottom. So if they want to put a taller glass, a slightly taller glass, it'll fit in there. Although it's really made for this here. And like I said, two bottles of wine. All right, the construction of it is complete. Next up is staining. All right, gang, here we are. I took it all apart and stained all the pieces. I believe this is a nice dark walnut. Okay, got all the pieces. Uh, what I have uh, stained is three quarters of it. The back panels are not. Once these dry, I'm gonna give those back panels one nice rub and you'll see it all nice and even. So here, here are all the components the box itself and then on the side here I have the fronts and here we are I took the pieces and again I'm all in dry fit and make sure that everything works and it looks okay and as I stain it it looks pretty darn good okay I have a couple little spots here and there that I'm not you know too thrilled about but it's the first time I've actually stained something um, so I, I, I think it looks really nice now I'm going to make sure that the holes align first so everything is dry fitted. I'm going to take this piece out here. Then I'm going to, I took my gloves off, second point. I'm going to screw the T piece in first. And so with that hold that in there, at least give me some groundwork for the top and the bottom to hold the size nice and square. And I know that's also nice and square as well. So I'm going to fit it already into the, the hole that was there. Make sure that they line up. Once I get those screwed in, and I want to work on one side at a time. All right, so I assembled the T. I put my pocket hole screws inside there, as you can see. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit later. So the pocket holes are holding this together. So the top T is nice and solid. You can see I'm moving this with my finger. It's not moving over here. This one also as well is, is, is solid. So I laid that side over here. And then the first side I'm gonna put in is the side that the um, glasses go in. I put a little bit of glue in here. So you can see I smeared it up a little bit so as I don't want too much glue in there, but I do want some glue to grab onto it. And I don't want it to pour out of the pocket either. So uh, generous is awesome, but too much you're gonna see, okay? So, and I misspoke earlier, I'm gonna be putting this together with brad nails, okay, not finishing nails. Some brad nails that I have up in there, really don't wanna see it too much either, and they're, they're small, about, the, about two inches. It should be sufficient enough to grab the material on this 45 here to gain from one side to the other to hold it solid. And I'm uh, for the sake of it, Nobody can see it from the top and all that. I'm going to drive the nails in this way. They'll hide them when you're looking at the top, and they'll also hold that material going this way as well. All right, here we go. All right.
right, here we go. All Brad nailed in. Okay, all nailed together. Now it's one piece. I had to loosen up the little piece just a little bit to make sure I get my square all together. But here it goes. So if I grab this from this piece here, move it up. It's now all one piece. So now what I'm gonna do is carefully flip this over, carefully, and the back piece, have it inset. The back piece is gonna go right on here so that way it's nice and flat on the back. All right, and that should hold us in. All right, I have fixed the back to it with uh, my crown staplers, okay? Uh, now, I should be able to Put your fingers, slide that right inside there. Here we go. We're almost done. Onto the hardware, onto the doors. Here are the front doors, just placed on top of there. Now, I wanna line things up and make sure that I can install the hardware nice and square. All right, here's the hardware line where I'd like to see them, okay? Um, so what I did is I placed it up on top of there and was playing with the measurements and I could see that they can move on nice and comfortably. So on this side here, I drilled uh, two small pilot holes because you know how these little flimsy screws, you want to wind up putting them in there and uh, mess up and strip them or break them in the midst of that. So I want them to go in smoothly. So two pilot holes, not drilled in too deep, but big enough so that that way uh, I can get them started. So hinges are on both sides. Screw them in. Like I said, did the um, first thing I did was drill a couple little pilot holes and then screwed them in. I had screwed them in my hand. I don't have a bit that's thin enough, which is which is all right. These are not that hard to go in, it's soft, soft wood. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing to the ones on the top, screwing them in, little pilot hole, okay? And um, screwing them in by hand. I want to show you guys something here. Bottom of the box is not all the way to the bottom. Wonder why? Well, here's why. You ever open up a box with stuff inside of it and it's on the floor on the rug? or out in the grass. And next thing you know, the bottom of it is rubbing. You gotta kinda of tilt it back. I raised it up a little bit here so that way once you sit it on something, it's not always just touching the ground. It's still covering and protecting the, the material inside, whether the bottle glasses or whatever's inside there. But with it not being on the ground, you don't have to worry about this thing rubbing on the ground. Okay, just a little forward thinking for when you wanna use this nice and comfortably. I tell you what, I'm thinking about keeping this thing for myself and <laughs> making another one for who this is for, but uh, I'll be back again. M more pilot holes and a couple more screws just to hold in the side hinges. All right, our hinges are in. Our hinges are in. We'll check it, make sure. So I pick it up, make sure I can go down, make sure that they close nice and even. Nice. That bench has a little bit of the warpness there at the board, but that's okay, it gives it character, okay? Okay, I put my, uh, my hook and staples, okay, what these little guys are called, uh, up in front, and eyeballed where they should be. I got one about halfway, and I picked about the halfway mark, but one a little bit higher, one a little lower. Uh, so these guys are gonna do little drill holes as well, but I want to mark them, so what I used was, use my center punch. Put it right in the center of that, push down a little bit, and it did a little indent. It's almost like a braille drill. But the one good thing about it is when I, now that I'm having a mark, take it away, there goes my marks. All right? I didn't want to do the outside. I did, I did the outside ones. I'll do the inside one once I get it in and make sure that it's okay. But I didn't want to go crazy center punching everything. Be like, oh, I'm off a little bit. So I can always center punch that last one once we get it in and screw them in. Did the same thing with him. So I move him away. You'll see. Marked. All right. Let's attach him. Okay. I got my clasps screwed in. So now as you can see, one hole here, one screw, one hole here, one screw. Okay, why did I do that? So I wanna make sure that this fits on and locks tight. Okay, locks it and it's gonna hold it nice and snug. Okay, and this is, it's not gonna give and it's not gonna move in and so forth, it's gonna hold on. This afforded me the idea to make sure that I can adjust this and I have it in nice and tight right now to hold it. And the same thing with the one on top. We got our two front door clasps put in. Now I wanna put, this hinge on top, okay? And what is it? It's just a regular hinge. This is a slash lift, okay? This thing hinge, handle. Handle, slash lift, handle. Gold matches the same thing, that brass. Goldish kind of look, okay? And it's gonna sit right on top. Right on top. So we'll eyeball this and screw it in. Get it as close to center as possible. 
there you have it. My first ever wine bottle and glass holder. Complete. Handles on and handle works. Oh. <laughs> you know that first time you try something, make sure it works. It works. All right. I, got, I hope you all enjoyed watching this. I'm going to dissect this uh, and I guess create some plans if, in case anybody else wants to do something similar to what I did. And please subscribe to my channel and watch the next things uh, we're going to wind up building, reviewing, talking about, uh, doing all sorts of things because uh, my interests are all over the place. Making things, love gadgets, love new apps, love new software, love new things. Okay? All right, bye-bye, Al, until all are one.